Hello and welcome to a life full of meaning. My name's Lisa and this is Glenn. And together we're in search of a more meaningful life. We sold our house, we bought a little boat, we bought then bought a bigger boat. We've lived on that for five years, we then sold it last December, we bought a caravan last year in Devon and we've moved into a little house but we just bought another little boat. And amongst all of that, the search continues. Let us show you how the week unfolded. Good morning and welcome to Saturday. It's another sunny day, a bit breezy out there today. It don't matter though. Our friends Sarah and Paul are driving up from Northampton. They're going to stay tonight and go home tomorrow. So we got a fun couple of days ahead of us. Mr Warner, I don't know if you can see him, he was out there sweeping sweeping makes him happy i've done a bit of video editing this morning yeah so we're just having a bit of a tidy up really it's amazing how much mess we can make mainly me oh here's mr warner now with a broom in hands do you see see what i mean sweeping he loves it so and paul are here and we're going out we're going to go to torquay so we're in torquay the others are having a walk around I went to get my camera out, realised I'd left it in the car. Not just in the car, but on the back seat as well. So, I have just ran back to get it. Well, I didn't run. I walked fast, but I've got my camera. So, let's go find the others. Here they are. I've found them. Right, we're leaving Torquay. It was very windy. I've had a coffee and we're now heading towards Paynton. We're going to check out the steam train. Right, so we've come to Paynton. We've parked in the multi-storey. We're going to go and check out the steam train. There's the train track. So let's go see if we can find the steam train. Let's see if the steam train is on. I was like, where do we get tickets? Glenn helpfully pointed out here oh look at this one that's an impressive engine that one okay awesome thank you i'm just looking at so we've got our tickets we are going on the 1445 painted to kingswear and, back up. and then and then we've got the ferry over you what time does it come back uh 435 we don't yeah, want to miss bing, it because it's the last one so we're just waiting for the train to arrive it should be here in within the next sort of five to ten minutes goliath here we go the engine's just going to turn around but we're going this way we're carriage g here so this is F, G. We're right at the back. 58 and 60. Are you excited about the train journey? Oh, yeah. I am excited. And off we go. Right here. Yeah. This is the ferry we're going on. We're going to go across to Dartmouth. We had a quick pit stop and now back on the ferry. Sitting on the inside on the way back. It's so cold outside. We've upgraded to the Pullman carriage at the front, which is all a bit posh. <laughs> what the upgrade is oh look at this just look where are we oh
very much. Thank you. Thank you. So we just got back to the car. That was very cool, don't you think? Did you enjoy it that? Cool. It, it was it yeah. was very good. Very good. Mm -hmm. And the upgrade to the posh carriage at the front was well worth it. It was only an extra three pound per person. Had I known that, I'd have got that on the way out. We chatted to a lovely gentleman who was the ticket collector. I said to him, how long have you been working here? And he said, only 50 years. Now we're heading back to the caravan where I think there's going to be bingo. Righty, let's go bingo, see if we can win. Here we go. Single pirate flyer. Everyone's playing, give them a nice big wave in the air for me. Everyone check your neighbours' tables, make sure. We didn't win a bingo. Good morning and welcome to Sunday. Another day at the caravan, another day with our friends Zara and Paul. Today we're off to for breakfast and then over to Totnes. As you know, one of my favourite places. Out into the sun. Oh, do I need a coat? It is a little chilly. It is. Down a little lane. Not only did we have the most gorgeous breakfast, it was delicious, came out of the cafe, bumped into Rian, who lives not far from here. And I know her from ages ago in a facebook group i love that that is so cool anyway we are off to totnes next so you know our luck of getting stuck in car parks with zara <laughs> and paul well well we got we got, we're stuck in this car park there's some sort of breakdown here we are my favorite place let's have a big walk up the hill look at those cheese scones fudge shop this hill's a little bit steep. That's the museum, so yeah. not open today. We'll come back another day. We're almost up the top of the hill. We've made it to the market. <laughs> Mr. Warner. Couldn't resist two cheese and bacon turnovers um, for the morning. So put them in the oven. So that is totness done. Oh, I do love that place. I am going to move here one day. A little flat above a shop at the top of the hill. That's on my list. Our friends have left. They left earlier this afternoon. We are going to stroll around to the entertainment complex, have a game of bingo, and that's it. Yeah, we'll be packing up tomorrow morning and uh, making our way home. Fish. So we had another go at bingo. We didn't win. We came close. It's been a bit of a bingo frenzy over the last couple of weeks. Bingo, I'm, I'm on it. I love it. For now, going to call it a night and we'll see you in the morning. Morning and welcome to Monday. I'm off for a walk. I've been laying in bed for the last hour thinking, shall I? Shall I get up? Shall I go for a walk? And now I've just been scrolling on my phone. In the end, I was like, no. Get up, go for a walk. So come on, off we go. I'm on my third lap round this walking path. It's relatively flat. hoovered up we've emptied the bins we've emptied the fridge all those jobs so we've traveled for what a couple of hours hour and a half decided to stop for coffee and a stretch of legs oh we're back well, that was a nice and easy four hour run stick some washing on do a couple of bits and then we need to go to the office right washing machine on i've spoke to my mum glenn spoke to his mum and i've put another load of washing on why do i only speak to you when i put the washing on i don't know Anyway, 
I am gonna up my healthy eating game, yes. We did slip at the weekend. And, and we both feel lousy for it. So that was no good. That's a note to sell, wasn't it? I'm gonna make some deliciousness that will see us through the week. So first thing I'm making is some chia seed pudding. I don't know if you've ever used chia seeds before, but they look like that. I'm gonna make a little chocolate chia seed pudding. So the recipe says half a cup of chia seeds, and I've got just under half a cup. So what I'm gonna do is just, well, I'm gonna throw that in. All the other ingredients I'm gonna do just under. I haven't got coconut milk, but I've got some creamed coconut, so I'm going to make my own. Oh, yes, I am. Also, while we're modifying this recipe, I haven't got any maple syrup, so I'm going to use some honey. I know you're going to say, don't use honey. It's not good for carbs, but I'm thinking a little bit of honey to sweeten this is going to be better than me eating a bar of chocolate. Right, is the coconut milk that I made with the cream coconut. Here is some of the cocoa that I have made into a paste with said coconut milk. Righty. Now, I'm gonna pour in the chia seeds. And then I'm gonna leave that in the fridge overnight. I'll give it a bit of a stir later. Oh no, look at my nice clean smart car. So we're at the office, we've got a fair bit to do here. So we're gonna crack on and I'll catch you in a bit. Oh, I know what I was gonna show you. I can show you now. So um, it's Evie's birthday tomorrow, she's eight. And Naomi and Mark have brought her this gorgeous bike. Look at this, isn't it lovely? Evie is gonna love that. They've just got some new pedals for it. So that which they're going to put on later, but she's absolutely going to love that. We're leaving. It was a little bit stressful this evening, wasn't it, Mr. Warner? Yes. It's been grumpy. Certainly dark now. Right, Mr. Warner, let's get on. So we're in almost every single red light was against us as we travelled back. Honestly, I felt the world was against us. I'm not happy with myself, to be honest, with uh, my eating choices today have been rubbish. Rubbish. Not good. Not good. Anyway, tomorrow is another day. I'll see you in the morning. Hello. It's birthday girl there. Hello, my darling. Oh, that is Fabulous! I love it! You got 135 pounds? Oh my darling! Oh darling, you're rich! And let me look at your stickers. What you, what do they say? Your badges? Eight. What does that one say? Birthday girl. Birthday girl. Right, show us your prezzies. Okay. I have my new bike. Yes. I have a sewing machine. <gasps> my goodness. I can't believe I got a sewing machine. No, I can't either. Good morning, good morning, and welcome to Tuesday. It's a work day, which makes me happy. Mr. Warner, not so happy, look. He's got a list of jobs that uh, have stacked up since uh, he's had a couple of days off. Off to work we go, hi ho, hi ho. And then pub tonight. And then tomorrow is a busy day, and Thursday is a busy day, and Friday is a busy day, Saturday and Sunday, all so busy. Mr Warner is not looking forward to this week. He's just got a bit of a grump about the whole thing. Admittedly, it's a busy one. Off we go. It's a beautiful morning today. So here we are at work. Work done. It was a busy old day today. I mean, I literally did not stop. I was like, my nose was to the grindstone or whatever the saying is. Anyway, that is us done for today. And we're heading home now. But tonight we are out to the pub. I forgot to take any footage today. Oh, Didn't even get man. Me out of the bag. These videos are going to get shorter and shorter. Yeah. Anyway, 
Anyway, let's head home. It is still a glorious afternoon. Do you remember last Tuesday when we went down the pub and we was a week early? Yeah. It's this week, so we're just gonna take a stroll down the pub. There's a new menu in the pub tonight. This is always cause for great excitement. So come on, let's go check it out. So we're walking to the pub and can you notice anything? Oh yes, it's, it is getting dark. I mean, it'll be dark in about 10 minutes, but it's 10 to 7, it's 10 to 7 and it's still not completely dark. This is a very good sign. Here we are, the Colin Tree on a Tuesday night. Oh, makes me happy. New menu. Blake me or Blake. Good morning, good morning, and welcome to Wednesday. This is going to be another day of very little footage because I'm off to work and so is Glenn. So we will see you later. So that's it, finished work, not just for today, but for the week as well. So that's good. We are heading home now. I'm out this evening. Mr. Warren, are you going to come with me? I need to look at my emails because I've had a lot of other stuff going on today and I've got to pick my stuff up from sisters. So. Yeah, okay. Mr. Warner might be coming with me. He might not. It depends what he's got going on. Anyway, I'm going to enjoy the last of the afternoon sunshine on the drive home. You never guess where we're going this evening. You'll never guess. Well, you might guess actually. We're going back to bingo. Oh yes, when we was at bingo the other week, do you remember when we paid the extortionate amount of money? They were doing a special offer tonight where you get your bingo books, you get some food, you get a cup of tea. And we were like, shall we go? And then we were all like, yes, let's go. And then I completely forgot about it until yesterday. So, that's where we're off to. We're off to bingo. I'm feeling tired this evening. It's all that working I've been That's doing. Happened, Here we are again. Oh, that was wow. intense. It was hard work, yes. So, the bingo was an amazing deal. A 10 quid and you got all your bingo books and you got a meal. A meal and a cup of coffee or tea. And so we're like... And thrown in three, yeah. you got high blood pressure well, yeah we did we, it was very tense so what happened we got there half an hour early we ordered our food half an hour before the bingo started and basically they brought the food to our table as we started dabbing we were trying to eat we were trying to dab we didn't know what books to play or anything it was stressful but anyway we didn't win any of it there was only a handful of people there as well it was quite stressful to be honest but anyway before we went to bingo we stopped by debbie's picked up some post and miss one has got not one but two packages let's have a look what they are what you got what you got what is it oh it's like past the parcel oh it is and in there and in there what is it it's a um, sterling pro charger. So the second hand I bought it, but it was um, it was a good deal. These are my favourite chargers. It's a good price. I paid hundred pound for it. And anyone that knows, these are about two two thirty. So what's in the second box? Boat. Have you I any idea know, what's I in don't it? I don't know what it is. It's very light. It doesn't feel like it's actually got anything in it. What is it? Oh. What is it? It's. Uh, what is that? It's not actually the right shape. I'm going to have to adapt it for the end of the roof. Oh, okay. So that's really boring. That is dull. Basically, the end of our cap of our roof is missing one of these, which is like an end cap. This is not the right shape for the ones that are on there, so I'm going to have to adapt it to fit on the end. Okay. But it was well, that's the most that's underwhelming um, parcel delivery ever. Well, I'm not working tomorrow and Glenn has lots of running about to do. So, story yeah, of story of his life, that is. Oh, no, oh, no. I'll make him a cup of tea and all will be well. Good morning and welcome to Thursday. I'm looking a bit of a mess. That's because I've rolled out of bed. I've got to drop Glenn off to pick a van up. Then I'll come back, have a shower and wake myself up. I'm feeling a little bit ropey this morning. 
it's not COVID. I did a test, but I've got a sore throat and I'm feeling, well, just a bit ropey. There's bits and pieces going on today and I'll fill you in when I get back. It is another lovely day. Thank you. Right, see you later. <laughs> right, that's Mr Warner dropped off. I've now got to drop this car off down the shop. Right, just got to drop Glenn's keys off at the shop, which is looking amazing. Right, that job's done. All's left now is for me to walk home. Right. Oh, my goodness. So, today... Glenn is going down to his mum's after he's sorted the van out and dropped that. He's got some paperwork and stuff that he needs to help his mum with. And then he should be back by early afternoon, which is good because I know he's got a whole lot of work. Not the, the work he does three days a week, but the other work he does. He's been very busy. So he's got a load of that to do. And then... I've got the meaningful midweek conversation. I'm so looking forward to that. Then I'm picking Leo up. I, well, apart from needing a shower and a strong cup of coffee, I need to have a tidy up. It's a mess. We've we've spent the last couple of days since we got back. Well, just, just, yeah, it's been a blur. It's been a blur. So tidying up and meaningful midweek chat got to pick Leo up at three. I think, I think that's it. I think that's all I've got to do today. Let's start with coffee though. Oh, there was no coffee beans left. I've had to go instant. I know, it's a first world problem. I've just written some of the questions for today's meaningful midweek conversation. So we're going to talk about inspiration today. Who inspires you? That's an obvious one. Where do you take inspiration from? What does inspiration mean to you? How important is it to feel inspired? What are the blocks that stop us feeling inspired? And do you get inspired easily? Yeah, that's what we're going to be talking about today. I'm looking forward to this one. Spoiler alert, I get inspired by many things. Let's jump in the shower. Let's uh, drink the coffee. Let's, let's get moving. This plant is really struggling here. I, well, I haven't got room on the sunny windowsill, but I'm going to move it there. Hopefully that will help it. This one's not doing too great either. I might have to move that here too. Let's open. we can give those some glorious sunlight and they'll perk up. Everything perks up in the sunlight. So I've done the midweek meaningful conversation. And guess what? Mr. Warner has just walked through the door. How's your morning been? Um, what's the word? Oh, I don't know. Um, Taxing? No, no, no. It's, it's a bit hard, but it's, um, and we've got what we needed to achieve mainly. Oh, excellent. So, excellent. So Glenn's been down his mum's, helping her sort some stuff out. Got to do some work. Some... Glenn's got to do some work. I'm going to finish tidying upstairs. Okie doke. So we are going to the office. Got a couple of bits to do there. Then we're going on to pick Leo up from school. I'm so excited because I've brought that loom. Do you remember? I'm going to show Leo. I think it's going to be well excited. So we've got enough time to grab a quick coffee. Look at that sausage roll, that is amazing. That is a work of art, look at that. So, Glenn's got wing mirror drama. We were driving along to pick Leo up. There's Leo there, look, peeking over. Um, and Glenn's wing mirror just flew off as we were going along. I have no idea why. Anyway, it smashed to pieces, but Glenn's ordered a new one and is but he's just trying to get a piece of the wing mirror. I think he's gonna just stick it there while he's waiting. So Leo is doing a stellar job with the with the loom. He's watching Is It Cake? Happy is doing some work. And I'm gonna make some cheese scones. I'm gonna grate the butter. So I've made a little bit of a mess. <laughs> but that's looking all right. Right, in those bad boys go. Let's hope they rise a little bit. I might have rolled those too thinly. Me and Leo are loving this programme. 
you have to choose what is cake and what's not. Yeah, that's cake. We knew that. Well, the scones are looking okay. Mm, these are looking tasty. Good morning and welcome to Friday. Is it Friday? It's a Friday before the weekend. The weekend of Mother's Day where I'm delivering lots of flowers and so is Mrs. Warner. I'm not going to take a camera today. Um, I haven't taken much footage this week to be honest with you. I've been mega busy with work and not really thought about cameras. But anyway, so sorry about that. But today I'm actually, I think I'm doing like a cycle proficiency which is a bit bizarre because I did one when I was a kid and I'm also an advanced motorcycle rider. But anyway, let's do the, let's do the uh, cycling proficiency today. That's with work. So I'm going to be uh, out and about with people on push bike. Why I hear you ask, basically the council is going to be given a, electric, a special electric bike that can carry up to 100 kilos on a carrier on the front of it. Um, we're just having one and there's two or three of us doing the course just so we can use it if we need to out, out and about on the estates around Milton Keynes. I will see you later with another van that I need to pick up today and i'm hoping if my sister doesn't need me for too long tomorrow to be able to go to tamworth because next week we're open to take the boat and there's a certain there's a few things i need to make sure work good morning and welcome to friday i had a busy day planned today but both the things that i was doing in the morning and afternoon cancelled I thought I'd make use of, of my free day. I'm going to go over, pick my mum up, and then we're going to go do a bit of food shopping. I want to go and get some lovely fruit and veg. I want to go to the zero waste shop. I need some, some like hand wash, some kitchen cleaner, that sort of thing. And then I said I'd take mum to the shops and we'll buy some bedding plants as a Mother's Day present. I've got the empty bottles there, ready for the zero waste shop. Come on, let's go. I've got my cloth bags for my fruit and veg. It's another beautiful day outside. Right, I'm at mum's. Couple of things I wanna tell you. Did I tell you that I'd started eating meat? A couple of times a week, I'm just eating some good quality meat. Just thought I'd let, let you know that. Also, would have been my dad's birthday today so remembering my dad today and that's why also I thought it'd be a great idea to to take mum out although we're only sort of doing running about doing chores we'll stop and have a coffee and uh yeah I was gonna say maybe a cake but I'm trying to break that whole using cake to celebrate commiserate to remember to to mark any occasion so maybe we'll get some delicious fruit but anyway, yeah, come on, let's go see mum. Look at all the daffs in my mum's garden. It looks lovely. And can you see, let me zoom in, can you see the little RNI welly boots there? That's what my brother sent for mum for Mother's Day. They look cute, don't they? Mum's helping organise the spring fair. She's been out delivering leaflets this week, <laughs> letting people know if anyone's in the area want to come to the spring fair it's changed so much even since we last came here let's have a coffee first what do you fancy oh, they God, smell good them. mum's gone cheese and leek and i've actually gone sausage da, da, da. look at that that was a delicious way to start the day so we're going to have a look next door i'm going to get some fruit and veg dad loved Calvary's ice cream that's a whopper that is some brussels beetroot yeah i love roasted beet let's get those let's get mr warner some fruit let's get some pears let's get some bananas they look lovely don't they i'm gonna get a couple of these i'm gonna get this one and this one so that's us done with the fruit and veg and a little bit of meat we're going to the zero waste shop next here we go food for thought zero waste emporium let's go in and buy some delicious we're so, refilling the kitchen cleaner that's going in there then uh hand wash hand wash where do you get these from well these 
sneakily, I just up the road and find them. Right. So basically they're a company who um, are very much about being more ethical, sustainable for yeah. the planet and people obviously. So the products are no nasties, um, non-bio, um, biodegradable, so they do break yeah, down yeah, naturally. Yeah. Um, and they are just nice products but they work really well brilliant and we just happen to be really lucky to have them on our doorstep and find that's them. perfect so these are old drinks containers right and the fizzy drinks company use them once yeah and then recycle them right so I don't know if you can hear how hard that is yeah yeah but then these go back they get washed out and yeah refilled. refilled so that's the whole point. perfect and right on the doorstep too it is literally because i mean people i think people think I always have to shove in there that yeah, it's not yeah. just the fact that they're on the doorstep. Yeah. They're really amazing. Right. They're in zero way shops up and down the country, but we happen to be lucky. Oh, enough. that's so yeah. brilliant. That's so, yeah. so brilliant. And it just pumps out. That's a great mechanism, isn't it? I say, it's, it looks quite satisfying. It is. So, raw chocolate almonds. Now, apparently, the sugar in these is coconut blossom sugar. So, just as a little treat. Oh, so that's the zero waste shopping done. I love that experience. I love doing my shopping there. It's just such a joy. We've, we're not done yet. That's all the food shopping done. I'm taking mum to B&Q. We're going to choose some plants uh, for mum's Mother's Day present. Right, let's go buy some loveliness. What we got? What we got down here? Oh, snapdragons. They're always good, aren't they? Well, we've done enough there. Can't resist this. I am going to... I'm gonna, it's really heavy, Mark. I'm gonna get this to go outside the front door. Mum's just mentioned where are we gonna put these in the smart car. Look at that for good packing. <laughs> are you alright there, Mum? I'm fine. <laughs> I've got to release Mum from the car. Oh, that's so funny. So, the plants, <laughs> let's have a look, Mum. <laughs> Mum looks like she's wet herself. <laughs> Right, I need to unpack the food shopping and then I'm going to plant those plants outside. It's going to look lovely. I bought some Bite Me spicy ketchup. I love this stuff. Made by a fellow boater. Yeah, Sarah. She makes these. We used to be moored near her in Northampton. So, oh, delish. Delicious stuff. Now, I'm not a fruit lover, but I know Mr. Warner will appreciate that fruit bowl oh. in go the coffee beans oh they smell good that looks better out there already yeah i'm well happy with that hopefully those flowers will really fill that uh, wooden crate and look lovely so fingers crossed i can keep them alive so i'm gonna cook these sausages I've got some beetroot, look at the state of my hands. I've got some carrots and some sweet potato. I'm gonna roast all those. Oh, I just love the colors. Glenn should be heading home soon. He's got to pick a van up and drop it to the shop. I wonder how he got on with his cycling proficiency. Is Mr. Warner in the van? Let's find out how his day's gone. Hello, hello. So Glenn, how was your cycling proficiency? So the, the level two of it is what the kiddies learn. Yeah. Well, I did pass that bit. Yeah. I've got, I've got level three. You've got level three cycling Basically proficiency. Whole, it's called more, I want to say sophisticated moves. <laughs> So Glenn, well done. It's going out onto a 60 mile an hour road. Really? Yeah. Well, well done, Mr. Warner. So I'm all geared up to ride the new electric bike. Excellent. And it's got twin batteries. Okay. Dinner. It's not glamorous, but it is tasty. So, um, hello and welcome to Friday. First Glenn, time. you're a little bit late. I know. Mrs. Warner's going to drop me off over uh, to pick our car up because i'm going to need that tomorrow and it's just i've just dropped it off where i picked the vans up from um because obviously it's mother's, mother's day. day weekend so ooh, ooh, that ooh. and that all, and all the joys that brings yeah with it so we've got various different vans that we've collected i've got friends helping on sunday right I'm dropping Mr. Warner off and then I am going babysitting. So yeah, yeah 
so I'm going to have a quiet night with TV that I like to watch. Yeah, well, you enjoy that, Mr. Warner. Do. It's feet up time. <laughs> See you later. Oh, it's been a really busy week. I've done really boring stuff and I don't like it. All I know is what I've been doing in the last two weeks is not what I want to be doing. Like we've got to sort of, again, look at a way of balancing everything out. That's what yeah. we've got to do. It's it's down to us. No one else can do it for us. It is Mother's Day week. I don't yeah. want to look for excuses. No. Well, we're going to the caravan was fun. Going was fun. to the caravan was Going to the was great, but it just took up last week was so we I worked three days then we were down at the caravan so the whole week was was done and then we came back and we went straight, straight into, into work, work. So, it, yeah. yeah so it all felt a bit too much to do too little time and it's not fun so not we will continue but anyway that was so last week just looking forward to next week mr warner what is happening we're picking up the boat next friday so the plan is to get up there in the morning early as we can as long as it's ready it'll let me it'll let me know towards the middle of the week the batteries are due to be delivered on wednesday and the alternator's got to be fitted the service on the engine's been done and the engine bay's been sucked out of all the water so we're going to spend four days to get in as near as we can so we'll have four days to get the boat as close as possible yeah. to our temporary mooring the good thing about the boat because it's so small i can squeeze it in anywhere it's exciting it's very exciting are you looking forward to picking the boat up yeah, yeah i am yeah yeah, yeah I'm, 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 I'm nervous but i think you know i've got I'm, i might i'm considering getting rcr cover but not that i can't fix it but it's where it breaks down whether i can get the bits i won't have a car so I've, i'm i am mm. thinking of just joining rcr okay yeah. okay well all that delight is next week have a great week take care see you soon see bye, ya. bye.